Shalom, friends. It is I, your friendly neighborhood rabbi, John Carrier. Delighted that you have joined us once again for the Elul Daily with PJTC. We're spending this holy month of Elul leading up to the high holy days in a situation of Heshbon and Nefesh, or kind of spiritual uh, reflection or soul accounting, if you want to translate stuff literally. And I'm here to say, you made it. This is video number 15. So once we're done with this, you are halfway there. It also means there's only like two more weeks to Rosh Hashanah. Oh! I'm so excited. Day number 15 means we are also rounding out week number two, where we've been focusing on our responsibilities toward our friends and family. Next time, we will have a whole different circle of responsibility, but uh, we'll let that happen next time. Today, I want to round out our week of family and friends asking you this very important question of the day. Are there ways that you can expand your circle of friends this year? And you may be like, John, I have enough friends. Thank you very much. Or maybe you've experienced that this this year hasn't been a great time to meet new people. In any case, I just want you to give this question the benefit of the doubt and ask it for yourself. Really think about it. Are there ways that I can increase my circle of friends this year? Because I think we could always use more friends, but that's just me. And look, this isn't knocking your old friends. They're doing a great job. But if you think you might benefit from expanding your circle just a little bit, you know, finding somebody new to introduce to your other friends, adding a little bit of variety to your life, and P.S., you get to be a good friend to yet another person. Just overall increasing the friendliness in the world. I know you got it in you. So if this is something you might be interested in, just think about ways in which you might expand the circle of your friends. Maybe it's taking a class or joining a club or volunteering in some way. Some place where you might meet other people who share your interests. Maybe it's going to a program at the synagogue, either virtually or in person. God willing, we get to do that. But let me suggest going to something that you've never thought of going to before. Maybe you're not a, a meditation person, but you might want to try out some meditation. Or maybe you're exclusively a meditation person. You want to try something else we have, like our wonderful Judaism in the Home program. Or if you haven't taken advantage of it yet, maybe there's still time to sign up for one of those Elul discussion groups, like we've been talking about this whole time. Just ping Melissa in our office. She'll let you know where that's at. This whole week, we've talked about looking backwards, looking inside, evaluating how we're doing with the friendships that we have, how we're doing with the relationships with our family that we have. Today, as we round out this week about responsibility for family and friends, I want you to consider your responsibility to your future self in terms of how many friends you have in your life. Think about abundance and growth in the future and how you might increase the world's overall level of friendliness. Can't hurt, can it? So that's the question of the day. Are there ways in which you can expand your circle of friends this year? If you have some ideas and you want to share them in the comments of this video, go right ahead. If you're looking for ideas, maybe post that in the comments of this video. In any case, I hope PJTC is the kind of place where you feel comfortable making new friends and can't wait to connect with you soon. Thank you so much for watching this day number 15 of the Alul Daily. Can't wait to see you on day 16. Until then, peace.